Hey everyone, my name is Adi. Last video we learned how to draw the windows. In this video we will paint with watercolor. I decided not to cover the whole paper but to create a more round shape and to keep the surroundings in white. If there are white elements, it can be interesting to let them go out of the painting, to let them connect to the white of the frame. This wall is in shadow. I paint it with blue to set it apart. Cold colors are very good to showcase shadow when there's daylight. I add the yellow ochre into the blue while the paint is still wet. Try not to use too much water. I also add blue to the decorations above and to the windows. I don't cover all the windows, just where there's shadow. I already made videos about how to paint sky and trees. I collected all the videos about views and cityscape in a single playlist. I will leave the link in the description of the video. In the edges, I wanted the different colors to touch each other and blend. Let the paint dry completely. In the windows, I painted the glass that is darker and left the frame in the color of the base layer. I don't cover the whole glass. It's good to leave some details to the imagination and not to close everything with boundaries. So I let it disappear towards the end. When there's daylight, it's good to make the glass of the windows dark. When it's dark outside, you can make the glass in a light color and everything else dark. Painting the windows with shutters or curtains can add color and interest to the artwork. They don't have to be the same. To show depth, I made it darker behind the shutters and the curtain.
adding lines of shadow to the frame of the windows. They have volume too. I'm adding a darker shadow to the windows. You can use the thin side of a square brush to create thin lines. We talked about different brushes and how to use them in the video about watercolor materials. Sometimes we see through the glass the inner frame of the window that is on the other side, inside the house. To create a curtain, I paint lines with a darker color and add a middle tone beside them. And I keep some areas in the base layer. I'm using a square brush to create bricks. Make sure that the bricks you paint follow the direction of the perspective. I'm adding a plant that is climbing on the wall. Painting a branch, it's good to have elements that are in different distances from the viewer. I made the branch darker to add contrast. The difference in the darkness level can suggest that the distance is different. One thing is closer and the other thing is further. I add a layer of blue to the wall that is in shadow. We can still see the details, but that way the shadow is more defined. It's easier to understand the light and shadow. Thank you so much for watching until the end. You can let me know in the comments what else you would like to learn. Next time we will do something different. See you soon. Bye bye.